These lands belong to the Maasai people, the guardians of these vast pastures. As the sun rises over this protected savanna, the lion's coats blend with the color of the boulders. The gazelle's fur melts into the plains. The bird's plumage lights up the trees. Tones superbly aligned to their surroundings in pinpoint perfection. But in this picture-perfect scene, there is an outlier. Adorned in black and white, the zebra. It is among one of the most mysterious animals in Africa. We are going to tell the tale of an unusual hero, one that humanity has never succeeded in domesticating. begins on a February morning. This young zebra has waited 12 long months. But now it is time for her to become a mother. This is her first baby. We will name him Punda. Punda milia in Swahili means zebra. He is a foal, a member of the horse family, but he has stripes and he is wild. Just a few minutes after his birth, the youngster tries to stand up. When you are one of the weaker species of the savanna, it is a question of survival, because predators are numerous. In less than an hour, Punda will know how to walk and to run. zebra has the same stripes. Each one different, each one unique. A little like us with our fingerprints. Punda discovers the herd and the essential skill of learning to recognize his mother in the middle of a jungle of stripes. This funny coat, what's it for? to make the predators dizzy, to ward off the tetsi flies, to camouflage. It's one of the zebra's best kept secrets. No scientists have found the answer yet. During his first days of life, the smells and sounds of his mother guide the little zebra. Without her, he could not live. She feeds him her milk and protects him from all dangers.
In this black and white family, there is another zebra who fascinates the foal, his father, the stallion, who reigns jealously over the four females of his harem. Punda is already copying him. Mimicry is part of his learning. Wildebeests often share the pastures and watering holes with the zebras. They are valuable allies, but Punda will have to wait until he is bigger to understand why. For the moment, he must just get used to them, or even compare himself with them. There's no doubt here, a little zebra is just as fast and agile as a little wildebeest. He discovers storks and, and all kinds of birds, such as plovers. In his little world, there are now gazelles. Warthogs. The young zebra sees, for the first time, otosions, or bat-eared foxes. They are totally harmless and live mainly on insects. They stand five meters tall. Undoubtedly, they're impressive. Look, this red ball of fire. Especially when the males fight over a female. With their impenetrable view of the savannah, the giraffes serve as sentries. They will be the first to run if a predator approaches. The time for Punda's first test has arrived. In the savanna, the biggest danger comes from felines. This morning, it is not this lone leopard stuffed with antelope who will cross this little zebra's path. But another predator is on the prowl. That's him there, this young lion.
stallion is the first to see the lion. The zebra calls his herd to gather. Wildebeest are easier prey than the zebras. They are less agile than their striped companions and less strategic. The zebras stay close to the wildebeest because they know that it is them that the lions will catch first. It is a horrible strategy, a pitiless alliance, but it saved the life of the little zebra. One wildebeest can feed an entire pride. The lion's meal follows ancestral laws. The alpha male eats first. It is then the turn of the lionesses and finally the weakest, who are content with the remains. If a young lion does not manage to impose himself, his parents will leave him to starve. The alpha male needs 10 kilograms of meat each day. For the prey that crosses this vast territory, there is no respite. The lions will be quick to return. Punda's world is changing. Gone are the pastures, the watering holes, the abundance. Dry season has prevailed. For Punda, a long journey begins. Tomorrow at dawn, they will have to go, very far away. Each year, more than two million wildebeest, zebras and gazelles leave on the search for new pastures. Finding water and food to survive. This journey is one of the largest migrations in the animal kingdom. A challenge for a young zebra without experience. Zebras and the wildebeest will travel together and join forces. The wildebeest's keen sense of smell and the zebra's sharp eye will serve as a weapon against the predators. A 
1,500 kilometer odyssey, which will last several weeks. Each one follows the rump that comes before it, tracing the footsteps of the leading animal. stays by his mother's side in fear of losing her. Despite their exertion and exhaustion, the animals are always in motion. On this long journey, there are only rare stops to rest a little. The animals follow the clouds in search of rain, so they head towards the north. Sometimes a storm offers a little comfort to these long-haul travelers, enough to gain strength for the rest of the way. Poonda is getting used to this water which flows over his coat and cools him. No sign of a lion or a hyena. At this stage, the savannah is soft and calm. On this quest for food, the path is no straight line. The animals make loops and detours. Sometimes they go back on themselves, attracted by taller, greener grass. For the moment, Poonda is managing, under the gaze of his mother, who is never far away. The ephemeral watering holes delight the exhausted animals. While the females and the young drink, the stallions stand guard to protect them from predators. Poonda does not dare to go into the water. Besides, he does not need it. At two months old, his mother's milk is enough to quench his thirst. After eight weeks of walking, the animals reach the Mara River, the largest in the region. This morning, it has a new inhabitant. This baby hippopotamus takes its first steps. Unlike Poonda, the little traveler, he will spend most of his life in these waters. The toughest test of the journey is looming.
Bunda and the rest of the herd are going to have to cross the river. Their lives are at stake. The danger is not the hippos, but these creatures here. Six meters long, weighing one ton, the crocodiles of the Nile are the largest on the continent. They have long waited for their prey to be served on a platter. For some, this will be their only meal of the year. The first wildebeest jump in. They are excellent swimmers. Crossing in groups reduces the risk of being killed. The zebra, fewer in number, slip in among the wildebeest who will serve as bait, as with the lions. They blend into the mass, becoming invisible in the midst of chaos. The crocodiles rarely miss their prey. Punda stayed on the bank with a part of the herd. It is impossible to turn back. The other members of the group take their turn. The muddy waters hide another challenge, the current. Each year, many youngsters drown, carried away by the raging waters. is safe and sound. Only a third of foals survive their first year. On the other side of the river, the lands are rich. There is grass, water, the herd will be able to stop for a few days. Meals are eaten as a family. Poonda starts to try some twigs. Zebras have a weakness for tall grass. They spend two thirds of their time eating. Their digestion is rapid, 
so a large quantity of vegetation is essential to satisfy their needs. The zebras never venture far from the watering holes. Poonda is still not drinking. As an adult, he will need more than 10 litres a day. Poonda, like all young animals, is particularly curious. And this new territory offers a huge surprise. Some giants join the party. They too spend their life searching for water. Eden, herbivores live together peacefully. This tranquil moment is the perfect time for a strange dance, one that everyone will join in on. effective way to scratch and relieve insect bites. Thousands of ticks can invade a zebra's skin. Sometimes the zebras scratch each other lightly with their incisors. It is a sign of friendship, but also a relaxing massage, which lowers the heart rate. Tick picking is a serious affair. Oxpecker birds are useful partners. They feed on the parasites. But not all birds are good omens. In the savannah, a scavenger stalks the plains in search of a carcass the marabou. It is even capable of swallowing entire bones. Today, Poonda's mother is behaving strangely. She does not get up. The little zebra has noticed. She is probably suffering from colic, a fatal syndrome for the horse family. 
the stallion stays faithfully by Mpunda's mother's side. The adults spend their lives together. Among zebras, families are united and indissoluble. is less than three months old. He is not yet weaned. Without his mother's milk, he is doomed. There is nothing that the stallion can do. the laws of nature, a set of rules that the hyena has learnt to perfection. It knows that a defenceless foal makes for easy prey. His father still protects him and scares off the hyena. But the zebras know that it will return. Punda's only chance of survival? You can to be welcomed by a surrogate mother. This herd, even being his own, looks like a labyrinth of stripes, none of which are familiar. And for the moment, no female wants him. Females only give birth once a year. Their milk is precious.
Time is ticking for him as night falls. Some animals sleep, others stand guard. The hyena has hunted another youngster, a gazelle. Tonight, Punda was lucky. The little zebra is getting weaker and weaker. But this morning, the herd will take action. Two members of the group, including his aunt, come to his rescue. And it seems that their care is enough for Punda to find the strength to get up again. Punda's aunt will give him her milk. She already has a little one, but she accepts a second. This rarely happens in the savannah. is saved. He has a new family. They left four months ago. For the little zebra and his herd, the journey will soon come to an end. The scavengers are still on their tails. Over the course of this vast migration, there are many losses. Hundreds of thousands of animals do not survive the hunger, thirst, exhaustion, or the predators. Those who have narrowly escaped attacks bear the scars. It is with a full belly that the troop moves forward and finishes their journey, nodding their heads as they go. Another of the zebra's well-kept secrets. Are they swatting away flies? Are they walking to the rhythm of music that only they hear? No one knows.
After six months of almost continuous walking, the zebras complete their journey. Poonda now drinks from the river. He has been weaned. The zebras move away from the banks to find clean water. Swimming in this heat also allows them to cool off. The end of the migration marks a new stage in the life of our hero, adolescence. There is a hierarchy among the young zebras according to their age. Punda will have to find his place in the group by challenging and confronting the others. But for the moment, the zebra are busy rolling in the dust. It's a pleasant and practical way to wipe away perspiration. But despite their apparent serenity, the animals are agitated. The power struggles have begun. During mating season, to attract females and mate, the wildebeest must possess a territory. two males will engage in a spectacular duel. Punda does not take his eyes off them. have passed, Bunda has grown up. At four years old, he can now become one of the herd leaders. He can also have a harem. He has learned the lessons of his elders. he must challenge his brothers. Rear up, 
bite the nape of their necks, their throats and legs. Learn the weaknesses of his rivals and intimidate them to dominate them. Beat them one by one. And as if history were repeating itself, it is him who becomes the stallion, he who must protect the herd. The felines use the element of surprise to attack. But this time, it is our hero who surprised them first. The lioness has no other choice than to give up. The long journey has resumed, just like every season past and every season to come. This great zebra has just one thing left to do, start a family. A first mare, then a second, and finally a third will join his clan. From these unions, a multitude of little zebras will be born. His family will follow their course, always one step in front of the other. One step in front of the other, and nature will take care of the rest.